2012, after years of being a perfectionist, a people pleaser, and an overachiever, I hit a wall, a wall of burnout, exhaustion, defeat, grief, and what I deemed as failure. I was a working mom of two little boys and caught in the rat race of working in the digital media and tech industry in Silicon Valley. I was also part of a dual career couple with my husband. I was sleep deprived, filled with stress and anxiety and experiencing growing health issues along with my husband. I was also ridden with mommy guilt, feeling inadequate at work and at home, unable to keep up with the demands in my life and feeling disconnected from my family, friends and myself. This time in my life brought me to my knees literally and figuratively and made me yearn for change and transformation. I had a deep and burning desire to get my health back on track, have more time for my family, and pursue my lifelong passions around health, wellness, and fitness. I also wanted to help others, make a positive impact on the world, and do so on my own terms. I then had a startling realization that after many years, I might be ready to leave my corporate career behind and step into the world of entrepreneurship. It was both a terrifying and exhilarating realization and one that would take me a few years before I was ready to act upon it. During those years, when I was hitting a crossroads in my career and life, my dear grandfather, who I called my Nana, passed away in 2014 on my birthday. He was my last living grandparent and the biggest champion of my deepest personal and professional aspirations. He told me when I was 23 years old, he could see me doing work focused on the upliftment of human life. We were certainly aligned in our visions for my future because when I was 19 years old and a sophomore in college, I wrote a personal mission statement. And in that mission statement, which I still have today, I wrote that I wanted to find my purpose on this earth and serve humanity to the best of my ability. After all of my struggles during this time, along with the death of my Nana and having to confront my fears of making a drastic change in my career and life, I finally developed the strength and courage to catapult myself into where I am today and live out those visions and dreams my Nana had for me and I had for myself all those years ago. I'm now striving for optimal health and balance to find my way for my family and myself. I also finally made that aspirational career transition and I'm now the founder and CEO of a health, wellness and fitness company with a mission of empowering women to flourish both personally and professionally through wellness. I actually knew early on in my life that wellness across four key pillars of mental, physical, emotional and spiritual health was the secret to personal and professional success. I've always had a natural passion to learn and become certified in fitness, nutrition, and behavior change. And in being a first generation born Indian American, I was exposed to and trained in yoga and meditation at an early age through my parents and grandparents. But I lost sight of this very important concept of wellness as my life became busier through becoming a wife and mother um, and became more complex and also trying to balance my career and progress in my career at the same time. Through my struggles to balance all of these roles, along with experiencing the consequences of sacrificing my own health and happiness in the process, I thankfully found my way back to wellness. To be honest, it was my only choice if I wanted true and lasting change and transformation in my life. And as a result of my experience during that time, I'm now doing my life's work as I stand here today with empathy and grace to humbly share my learnings with all of you. I know many women can relate to my story. Many of you may have your own stories, experiences and struggles around burnout, which is why I stand with you and empathize with you. In fact, in 2019, the World Health Organization classified burnout as an occupational phenomenon, which has basically turned it into an epidemic within the pandemic we're currently facing across the world in 2020. And according to the Centers for Disease Control, women are especially vulnerable towards anxiety, depression, and stress. These vulnerabilities are even more prevalent right now due to possible career uncertainties, increased household responsibilities, 
childcare and virtual learning needs for our children, and continued challenges with gender equity in the workplace. Based on a 2020 Women in the Workplace report by McKinsey and Lean In and featured in Forbes, one out of four women are contemplating downshifting their jobs or leaving the workforce altogether. These trying and unprecedented times are having a negative impact on women's mental and physical health and career trajectories, and we as women need to be the ones to put a stop to it. Many research studies also show that women simply aren't as happy as we were in previous decades due to a lack of time for self-care. We so often in our lives put everyone and everything ahead of ourselves. We neglect our own needs to tend to the needs of others and it's killing us. Whether we believe these are characteristics that are innate in women or developed socially and culturally over time, we owe it to ourselves and the generations that came before us to break out of these norms and create a better future for ourselves and the generations that will come after us. Now more than ever, women need to be fearless and at our best, both personally and professionally, in order to rise out of this difficult time in history, become leaders and be successful. If we're able to dig deep and focus on our health and wellness, we're more likely to feel strong, empowered and resilient. We may become brave enough to take risks face our fears and overcome obstacles. We'll be able to bring out the best versions of ourselves for the benefit of our family and friends, employers, communities, and society as a whole. At the end of the day, without our health and well-being, we have nothing. With our health and well-being intact, we have everything and anything is possible. So how do we incorporate this well-kept secret of wellness into our lives? we can start by incorporating those four key pillars of mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual health. Here are some examples of actions we can take. Pillar number one, mental health. Setting intentions each day versus letting the day get the best of us. Getting organized in order to maximize our productivity and getting sufficient amounts of sleep for optimal cognitive functioning. Pillar number two, physical health incorporating a daily fitness regimen for energy, stamina, and strength, and eating whole and nutritious foods for disease prevention and management. Pillar number three, emotional health. Prioritizing our relationships with our family, friends, and ourselves by creating boundaries between work and home life and setting aside time for regular check-ins with those we love. Speaking up when we need support speaking up when we see injustices, releasing the pressure to be perfect and simply being our honest and authentic selves, never giving up hope and taking a chance on ourselves and others, and pursuing our passions in order to spark joy, creativity, and light into our lives and the world around us. And finally, pillar number four, spiritual health, connecting with our inner selves through practicing mindfulness and deep breathing focusing on what is in our control and letting go of the rest, knowing our core values and living according to them, listening to our inner voice and our intuition, and living with true purpose that's bigger than ourselves and practicing kindness and empathy and giving back in some way. Ultimately, it's up to each one of us to determine which pillars and which actions within each pillar will be most relevant and transformative for our lives now versus later. Therefore, I want to encourage you to prioritize and take one action at a time and then keep building from there. Over time, I hope you'll come to realize just as I did that these four key pillars of mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual health are the tools we need to flourish. And they're the very reasons why I wholeheartedly believe wellness is the secret to personal and professional success.